Miami Motor Muscle John J. Bowen will be inbound to Luth Harbor in approximately 30 minutes. We'll be heading up to the Husky fuel dock. Again, the John J. Bowen will be inbound to Luth Harbor in approximately 30 minutes. We'll be heading to the Husky fuel dock. Stay by channel 16 and 13 for all concerning traffic. Oh, Missouri does a bowl one. Yeah, Missouri's got a bowling. Is that a bowling here? Yeah, what channel you want to work, Cap? We're working uh, 74. Okay, 74. by the Bay Shipbuilding Company of Surgeon Bay, Wisconsin. She measures 680 feet in length, 78 feet in width, and 45 feet in depth. She is powered by two 3,500 horsepower 10-cylinder General Motors diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 13 knots or about 15 miles per hour. She is also equipped with 1,000 horsepower bound stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. The Bullen has 22 hatches on her deck, which open into six cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 44 by 11 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 34,000 tons. Above her deck, just in front of the pilot house, is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to load her own cargo at a rate of 6,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The John J. Bullen is owned by the American Steamship Company, Williamsville, New York and she's operating under charter by Grand River Navigation, Traverse City, Michigan. The John J. Bowen was named in honor of the co-founder and former president of the American Steamship Company, and she is the fourth vessel to receive this name in that company's history. She was built for $13.7 million and was the first vessel built for the American Steamship Company under the Merchant Marine Act of 1970, which guaranteed government financing and tax benefits for shipping companies that modernize their fleets. The John J. Bolin, as you can see, is coming in empty. Once again, we have the John J. Bolin arriving to the Duluth Ship Canal. She was built in 1973. <laughs> So 
the bridge. The ship initiates the greeting with one long blast, called by two short blasts, and the bridge responds at the same thing. The John J. Bowen has a maximum carrying capacity of 34,000 tons. Owned by American Seaship Company and uh, operated under charter by Grand River Navigation. Be less than an hour. Um, and then we're going to zip on up to the uh, BNSF dock. Yeah, how are you planning on uh, getting there so I know what uh, needs to be broke up? I'll probably just uh, pull away from the dock and head straight down, straight through the harbor there, and then pull in that way. Okay, I'm going to head to the channel. I'll uh, start uh, with a little bit while you're fueling. That sounds perfect. Just starting to come into the thicker stuff, but it's still broken up, though. So this is uh, kind of my uh, first time uh, messing with ice here. Um, I'm assuming what I, what I was planning on doing was kind of getting my bow up right up to the dock there and just kind of using the bow to kind of push the ice away and kind of, you know, plow it out of the way before I kind of get the boat up again. Is that uh, generally what you guys do up here? Yeah, what we, uh, what we like to do is, yeah, get your bow landed as soon as you feel comfortable. Plan. How, uh, how, how thick would you say some of that ice is up there? Uh, I'd say I've been running into ice anywhere from, uh, I'd say two inches up to about, uh, eight. Okay. Well, we got kind of spoiled this year. I know, right? Well, so our game plan is, uh, we're gonna, well, this is gonna be our last load. We'll, uh, be, we'll pick up that load out of, uh, yeah, uh, here there, drop it off at the stew, and then we're going to come back up this way. We'll be uh, tying up at uh, elevator M, I believe it is. Uh, correct, yep, that's what I was informed. So I'm sure we'll be, uh, we'll be calling you again. Have you got a rough idea how long it's going to take to load you over there? Um, should only be about six hours. Uh, if, as long as uh, there's no breakdowns or anything like that, they don't have any issues with the cold, it should be six hours. And then, uh, um, we'll take a look at it once we get over there, see if we're going to need you to let's get out of there. Yep, we'll uh, see how it goes. Definitely in some thicker uh, plate ice now, but it's still breaking up pretty good. Oh, you're definitely in thicker plate ice now, but it's still uh, breaking up pretty good and just flew inside us out of us. We don't have any big trucks floating in front of us yet. Okay.